guy were not like there and there? No, they're down below. So I Wild. think I think try what you suggested by putting the um, the legs over top of this thing. Okay. Over that handle. Uh, is there a reason why we can't have this doger hung like <laughs> through <laughs> through like there? Going off the far side, or even the near side, I guess, behind this curved threaded rod, draped over the Delrin and down. Maybe it might sit a little low, but from that same logic, if you have it, just like, if through there and then the body still between these two threaded rods, maybe that would be work. Okay, so what would we can like try any first? solution here. We can try them all because sure. if you think your thing is going to work, I have no idea about anything. <laughs> yeah, so I think. Can I get some zoom in, please, Pete? Good there. Yeah, I don't love this situation. Because, like, it'll sit on top. Yeah, that, what does that look like? Or is it going to sit just right on the connector? Right on the connector, probably. Is it well, going right to go in the, the base? Cable. I don't think it's that big deal. Try the base, yeah. Let's see what happens. Try the base. Setting the feet on the base. Okay, on come the, on a little the bit out, glass. please, Pete. Good there. Oh, back in. No, that doesn't work either. Keep going. Good there. Um... Yeah, that's not going to... That gets all tangly over on the far side. If you put it... How about if you put it, like, on the ground? On the ground. And then, uh, like, really close, as close as you can, just standing there? Oh, I understand. And push it in? Yeah, but then push it in with a bungee, right? Yeah. So I, I there, and now you get your bungee underneath of the like um, the the handle. Yeah, yeah, I got But gotcha. over top of the threaded rod that's on the Delrin. Yeah, I understand. Hmm. So the bungee goes underneath this... Underneath yeah. this, underneath this guy, and then finally over to this guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it would go from here. It would go, well, it's connected here, Let unfortunately. Let me uh, get my arm out of the way, and then you can show me what you want to do. Okay. Make sure we're on the same page. Go for it. Draw it out. Dirk? Pardon, what's the question? You, gonna, you were going to draw it out? You yeah, it. you want me to draw it out? Yeah. Okay, so it's connected up here. That's the only problem. Yep. So it's going to come from there across, but underneath of this thing, yep. and then over to that thing over there. Okay, Roger. Well, sh we can try that. If Let's it see what I can do. Looks can precarious. Nope. We got to do a shimmy. Cut yep. full wide, please. You can just go super extra wide. Oh, what we're talking. Looks like that's what we're talking about. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Megan. So this is how it was deployed. What we're talking about doing right now. Roger. I'm going to put a uh, pilot cam there. Dave, Trevor, need a break? Try that, man. What did you say, Dirk? I didn't say anything. It's Josh. Did you just call me Dirk? <laughs> Could you speak up? Get your headset on. Do you need a break? No, thanks. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Close enough? I think so. We'll give it a give it a go here. I might need to move to get me around the far side, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So, we've got this guy. Let's make sure he's free. There's some tie wrappage. Some cableage. Oh, yeah, it's on the far side of that cable, so that's a good start. <laughs> All right. Let's go up here. Grab him. Grab life by the horns or something. Oh, Donald, uh, Don back at shore sending me pictures of how it was originally set up. Wonderful. Look at that teamwork. Love it. Love to see it. How did it get behind the cable, I ask you? I don't know how it stayed there, though. Wild. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. We're out of there. Hey, come back. Oops. Hey. What's with this slow jaw again? All right. So we're going to go underneath that have guy and to underneath Ron. that guy. Yeah, let me see if I can get this around at least a little bit first. And then we can reposition it, the vehicle. If I can loop this up on here, 
Zoom in, please, Pete. A little tip up. Keep zooming. Good there, thank you. I just I want to just put it on this threaded rod for now, so it doesn't fall off while we go around. And uh, maybe ish. And tip from shore. Absolutely not. Before we before we move over to the next spot after you've done this, Trevor, I'll let me know and I'll give you yeah. another. I dropped it anyway. Come wide, please. Yeah, I'll be okay. Hit me. Hit me There's here. a bolt right here on the corner. Like just behind, you can see a bolt head sticking corner out. Corner of platform or Here corner of Here I'm drawing right there, right? Right on the edge on the of platform, the platform, yeah. There's okay. a bolt sticking up. So when it is in its position, we place the bolt into the bottom of this as well as on an extra meat. safety. Okay. Uh, I think we're good to wiggle around the far side there, then I'll grab that bungee some more. Yeah, so Dirk, maybe a bungee at first, then give it a final wiggle? Yes, exactly. Raj. And we're not worried about the bolt going up in the bottom there with the cable? Yeah. That's fine? No, no, that's fine. There's some chafe guard there. Oh, okay. I'm going to get the arm tucked away a little better. You're okay. Just to get you cozy and close. Oh, no, I'm not taking That should be good there if you can hold. Give me a sec. Yeah, take Car your time. pushing me right into it. Perfect. Now there's some big cod now in that Atlanta view. Yeah. Big ones. All right, bud. Okay, we'll try that on for size. Uh, yeah. Just kidding. I'm not gonna pick that up yet. I'm gonna let it swing over so I never see it again. That's what I wanna do. I need to move this better. This is not as lined up as I thought it was. So this platform actually, when on deck, will sit a foot or two taller. It's just because its feet fell off, so it really sunk in. Oh yeah. So I don't know if we'll be able to get it onto that bolt. Roger. Okay, so we're going under there. Okay, please zoom in, Pete. Copy. Keep going. It's got a tight one here. Good there. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. Sure. There. Fine. Secured. <laughs> Might as well push it down a little bit. If it will go, it will not. So, yeah. Nope. That's fine. Okay, so we are under the two guided rod things. We're under this guy. We're not, I see the bolt, but we're not gonna get out to sit on there because of your leg problem. So what would you like to do now? Come full uh, wide, please, Pete. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty precarious. Hopefully we can, uh, when we, let's go get the, I don't think there's much more we can do here. Okay. Um, I think maybe we're gonna have to revert to the cinch straps and stuff like that later on. Okay, Roger. But you I don't move know. That other bungee yeah. while we're here. Do you want me to come around again? Uh, let's see if we can do it from here. I might have enough. Don't you keep tilting on me now. There we go. Probably don't have enough, but I'm gonna try. Maybe just. Okay, yep. let's got her, let it go. Okay, so we'll get over to that heavy thing and uh, ditch that bead bag just before we pick it up. Yep, so back to where we were. Back to where we were, back to whence we came. 
Yeah, precarious is a good word for that. <laughs> well, I think odds of success is low. Um, What's the lifting capacity of Blue Bungee? <laughs> Load rating. <laughs> it's just going to slide off into yeah. right where the, where the hook, where the circle is, and then hope for the best. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, we'll have to do something better, even if we can use the manips to bend those two little feelers with the tubing. Yeah, Roger. And tie it around, hung it, or something. Yeah. We'll figure that out later. Okay, where's the lifting point on this? Is Backside, bridle. bridle. Back, all the rand right with the current on our box. Yeah, perfect. Yep. I remember the previous cruise, we had a hard time moving it, so just a heads up. That was also Nautilus? Not Nautilus. That was, you were o on it. Odysseus. Last year, Odysseus. Cool. I believe you. I don't remember. Oh yeah, you did not go. end up not going on it. I was on for a lot of it. I know, but the start. This is like the first thing we did. Oh, then I was not on for that. Yeah. You missed that part of that cruise. 12 hour ops. Yeah. That, w that was the first, this is the first thing we did on that cruise. I'm going to come up on my delta here. That's okay. I got to come down. So it's been down anyway. here one year. Yeah, but I'm exactly low. a year, essentially. That bad. That'll take me back, yeah, about uh, 31. Yeah. Yeah. 2022. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, looks good. Two point bridle. Those legs are pretty so stout. Are we lifting it by that bridle, or are you going to lift it by that bar across the front? Uh, to move it, probably the bridle. Um, that's how we did it last time. Yeah. Um, when we get to the frame, this is going to be pointing porch, out. Mate. Porch, Roger. Porch, ro There's your porch. Thank you. So just so you know what the target is, um, ROV, if you look here, that hook up there. Yeah, that hooks onto that kind of that red bar that comes across on the I on the IP. Is that on the far side of the grating? Am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, it's just that yeah. rusty old hook there. So we're yeah. probably gonna get it close to the bridle, then land, and then manipulate it from there. If that works for you. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, so what's your, what did you say? We're gonna grab it by the bridle. Yeah. And it's facing the correct way. Yeah. We're going to fly it over to the far side of the platform, land with it close, and then do any further uh, installation from there. We're not sure. going to be able to do it with the no, bridle. No, I, no, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay, coming up. Yeah, on. you're good. There's a conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah, Fabio, I guess you're pretty happy we didn't de deploy this upside down, huh? <laughs> On its side. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the second iteration of this. See how uh, easy this would have been? Just flip that. over. Yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. It's uh, super light on top of that. This is a, yeah. What's with these pipes, eh? <laughs> well, there's this driver that <coughs> all those know. floats are on a carousel. So when you have spinny bits, we try to, I guess, eliminate the amount of rope. But yeah, it's really coming back. Now we're yeah. paying the premium. I mean, weights do the same thing. This is, uh, uh, there's no guarantees that weights will go down. All right, I'm going to just drop it here. And then... Flick it's it around. good. You got it. You got it. Oh, See, it won't drop. If I drop it, I mean hold it. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I can pick up a little bit. I can still see it in pilot cam. See how we go with this bead bag still on as well, eh? Oh yeah, I sure did forget that, didn't I? Let's see what we get, hey? If you want, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? That's as high as I got. Hold okay. it. What could possibly go wrong? Just wreck the viz, I guess. We're going straight that way anyway. Straight that way. You see it in sonar. We're going to yeah. go to the far side of it. Yeah. Yeah, I can almost guarantee we're going to have to drop that bead bag, but 
Let's see how it goes. Totally forgot. Last day of the cruise kind of stuff, you know. Oh. Oh. Maybe we were really light. <laughs> we put a wind in the jacksie helps. That's crazy. We had such a hard time moving it. We had to drag it over last time. Well, we had another RV entirely. <laughs> I mean, that's all you oh got boy, the ballast I really light then, here. Trevor. Good work. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. Two on wrongs purpose. do make a right. How many times on this cruise have two wrongs made a right? Wow. <laughs> many times. Oh, that hook's going to be hard. If you come around so this we'll side, we're going to put a wrap in the tether. Just keep that in mind. We'll come around what side? If you come around here and turn left. No, I don't want to. Okay, I'm Roger. trying to come back the other way, but Roger. I've got to get me back in through the current. Oh, Roger that. I understand. It's upside down fish. Yeah, and you got 1,200 PSI with the arm live. Trevor, any recommendations beyond the 90 degree, um, specifically I'm talking about the cable cutter? Any recommendations for how to improve that tool or did it work really well? The hydraulic cable cutter? Yeah. 90 degree. Like it's got the hydraulic fitting that's kind of in the way, but beyond that it worked well? We could talk well, about it later. The hydraulic fitting was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. We can talk about it later. Look at the current, eh? Okay, turn. Yeah, it looks good. Turn, got turn, enough turn, of the turn, bank. Turn, 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 turn. Let's see, do you have enough in the bank? Just, oh, barely. Just, 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 just. Come back in. Nice save. I can drop this if you want. This is a fine spot. You need spot. to face the other way around. Understood. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, we're fine. There nice. you go. Nice job. Okay, I'm going to go for a drop soon. Yeah, can you release any time you want. Come up oh, again? you want to come up? Yeah, just so I'm going to square by, it. Stand by. Oh. No, you don't. Get, 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 get. <laughs> there you go. Nice <laughs> save. All right. I'm going to throw this over. Uh, uh, this way. This way? I think so. That's how it was deployed with it this way. Okay. Those sticks might get in the way. Let me come across and center up on you. Yeah. Um, you can just fly, fly back. Keep flying back. Yep. Okay. Oh. Good. That's okay. Yep. Now we can wiggle it from there one step at a time. Look at the arm nice and close, so we can... And what are we grabbing here? We're um, going to grab the D-rubber. I think, um, just hold stand yeah. by. Standing by. This hook has moved, looks like it rotated. I don't think you'll be able to hook it in its current position. You might have to What's it supposed it. to hook onto? That, that bar? That bar, yeah. But right now, it's parallel to the fiberglass, so I don't think you're going to be able to hook it. Uh, okay. You can try. Let's have a look. I think it's angled. Not it is slightly yeah. angled, but I don't know. I think it's going to be a hard hook. I mean, we're yes, agreed. It'll be worth grabbing that and twisting. Just twisting it and making yeah. your life a lot easier. By doing this exceptionally hard maneuver. Yeah. At least you're All facing right. into the current now, which that's a little better. <laughs> Let me see this. Maybe there are the elef elephant seals that twisted that thing. Yeah, I don't, maybe it could have been when we wrestled it off the frame, too. Yeah. Standing by. Yeah. Just going to come in and touch down on the edge of this. Hang on. Okay, hanging on. Oh, nice. Knock the thing down. That's good. Okay. Ready? Yep. Give her gas here and see what happens. Oop. Aye, aye, aye. I'm out of there. You're okay. Gotcha. This thing is tippy, isn't it? Yep. Go. Going. 
Come on, come on. Yeah, get on there. Yep. I'm out of there. Good work. Well. Wow. Oh. Oh, caught on. Something. Tricked you guys. <laughs> it's top heavy. You know what? I, this heading actually is quite fine. I think if you keep that heading, I think I can grab the bar from the right side and kind of move it to the left. Is that not too much of a side load? It is a side load, but I think it's a side load no matter what we do. Okay. So I think it's worth worth a shot. All right. I think it's worth a shot. You want to position your arm and get ready for it? Uh, you can land. If you tuck and over you to the... You just to lift it up? Yeah. Onto it? You can give it a shot anyway. Somewhere there then? Yeah, as far left as you can get. Yeah, that's not bad. I can grab Oops. the grating too, that's eh? Mango up against uh, the edge. You can edge. grab it anywhere, yeah. Roger. There's no, there aren't any cables in here. Just the sensitive bits are the uh, tubes. Okay. All the carousel on there, but it's protected. Right. It's me all done. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, great. Uh, the happy? rotor. As they start going uh, happy yeah. down you can keep bubble if you want to move the main cams out, all right? Yeah, you, what camera do you need? You need this. I'd you? like this one, yeah, please. Bonk. Just let me give myself a couple of meters Thank here. you, yeah, thank you. Donut, Donut worried Pope about his baby. Before you lift. I know, yeah, I don't right. think he's worried. He's just kind of standing by and helping what out. you say? Yeah, I think he's just watching. About his experiment? Design? Cam halted Mechanical there. Mechanical portion. Well, we designed together. Yeah, you guys work You guys work together on a lot of projects, eh? You and Don? Yeah. Came in. It's Good to go. All okay. the cameras. Can I please and have a tip? Who, uh, who was there with troubleshooting yeah, this fish okay. drop mechanism with you? Was it Albert? Or Albert, uh, yeah, Albert, okay. yeah. We try a lot of sardines. That looks a little bit yeah. squidgy. A lot of different is rods. This, is this just rubber and channel? Yeah, yeah it no, is No, there's too. something in there. There's a little, or not channel, uh, flat Fiberglass, bar. yeah. Yeah, that's not good. You might want to grab some of the fiberglass with I it. I want to grab the probably none grab. of this. Well, sure. I'll give that a go. Deeper grab there you might go. be your... That's got it. I think I'm going to slide off at an inopportune time, like now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> before so. you start. Yeah, before I start, it's not very opportune. Push, can you push it in? I might, uh, like, just push it forward. I see what you're and saying. And then bend that, that'll push that rubber inward, right? It would, yeah. Give you a better grip. I think I'll knock it over. Yeah, maybe. It might slide through all that mud, though. Yeah, maybe. Give it a shot. Working with just pilot cam right now. You got any? Oh, yeah, you got some right. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Not too hard. Nah, that ain't gonna work. No, I think I'm gonna slip off. Yeah. Uh, you could try grabbing it um, closer to one of the supports. Maybe that's more solid. Then it's twist load in the wrist. Oh, okay. Well, how about the bridle again? Here. Since now you have no, the... not enough vertical lift. It's too tall for that. Yeah. It's fine. I'm gonna try grabbing it up front here. So the wrist rotate this action is not super strong. But the other durable. joints are a little more strong. So I'm going to grab a centered up here. See if I can make that thing work. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There's that dragging you were talking about. Never been closer. Okay, cool. Now what? <laughs> nice. I think we need to come around here. Possibly. Or we come up on top of the thing and land on top of the platform and pick it down and up, you know? We got a lot of strength lifting upwards if I grab the actual thr uh, rusty hook. Maybe. Or the bridle from up there. You might get might be effective for the bridle from yeah, the top. Yeah, the bridle's floppy and lame. Sorry, I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's uh -oh. hard to line something up precision with something that's not uh, but, but fixed, you know? What you just can do dogs. now, though, you should be able to just Feelings. push in on it. <laughs> oh, and actually bend it this time. Yeah. And bend it in this time. Could try that. Yep, it doesn't hurt. We're already here. Oh, I bet that flat bar is, like, stainless or something. Two-piece. 
Sorry? No, maybe a two-piece flat bar. Okay, here we go. Pushing. No, I don't think so. Oh, that's got a good grab. There you go. Oh. Okay, camera left, please. Let's try it. Oh. Oh, maybe enough. It's like me passing that 25 pound weight to Mike yesterday. <laughs> that's the other crew, actually. I'm going to come up. Do you want a bit of zoom in that top? Uh, can I see my elbow? I get a little bit more. Good there. That's full reach. Oh no. Uh, no so guys. Hang on, hang on, hang okay, on. Okay, I'm gonna put on. it down and we can reposition. Sound good? Yep. Okay, letting go. Yeah, if you just shh. Uh, I need to come. Like yeah, quite literally, yeah. just that's it, mate. Absolutely. Turn the head in. Agreed. Okay, arm is out of there. Nice. All yours. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> There's your heading gone already. <laughs> no, oh. it's, it doesn't turn that much. Add, add video. Hmm. Maybe here? I don't know. Yeah. Halted for a sec. See how it looks. Oof. It's just Oof. on there. It's not quite as much as before. No, I'll try it out. I can. Maybe there you there. go. There we go. Okay. Going for it. Can I see that hook? Okay, halting there. I'm going to get bubble on that. Thank you. Possibly. Nope, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just right. try, try things. Hang on. No, I got it. I got it. There. Yeah, come on, you little devil. No, you're not. You're on there. You were it's on. on. It was on. Yeah, that's so? it. Yeah, you're on there. Yeah. Okay. It's on. Let him go. Whoa, yeah, right, because it's heavy. The arm shoots up. Mm -hmm. Hey. Nice. Good work. Got the pair ring. <laughs> wow. Bridal's okay. contained. That'll do. Okay. Bridles so look crossed up and actually like somehow perfect. From here you can <laughs> see the next step, eh, Trevor? Bungee over can, that. Yeah. Um, oh yes, Roger. Okay, I can maybe do that from here. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah. uh, not if I move the vehicle by hitting the wrong thing. No, I need a heading change for that guy. Got enough? Uh, maybe just. Let's, we can try it. Loads. Yeah. Spot on, coming around. Okay, getting the arm secure and horizontal. Stone secure. Alright. Yeah, recall Front porch view. Yeah, please. 
I can't believe that lifted on there, man. These crafts, they got some, they got some strength. They've got a bit of oomph. side current action. Gotta love it. <coughs> okay. Quick gauge check. Happy. Good. Okay. There we go. <laughs> There's your Heading gone already. <laughs> no, oh. it doesn't turn that much. Add, add video. Hmm. Maybe here? I don't know. Yeah. Halted for a sec. See how it looks. Oof. It's just Oof. on there. It's not quite as much as before. No, I'll try it out. I can. Maybe there, there you go. There we go. Okay. Going for it. Can I see that hook? Okay, oh. halting there. I'm going to get bubble on that. Thank Possibly. You. Nope, just oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just right. try, try things. Hang on. No, I got it. I got it. There. Yeah, come on, you little devil. No, you're not. You're on there. You were it's on. on. It was on. Yeah, That's so? it. Yeah, you're on there. Yeah. Okay. It's on. Letting go. Whoa, yeah, right, because it's heavy. The arm shoots up. <laughs> hey. Nice. Good work. Got the pair ring. <laughs> wow. Bridles okay. contained. That'll do. Okay. Bridles so are crossed up and actually, like, Somehow perfect. From here, you can <laughs> see the next step, eh, Trevor? Bunch you over that. Yeah. Um, oh, yes, Roger. Okay, I can maybe do that from here. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah. uh, not if I move the vehicle by hitting the wrong thing. No, I need a heading change for that guy. Not enough? Uh, maybe just. Let's, we can try it. Loads. Yeah. Spot on, coming around. Okay, yeah, getting the arm secure, and... Stowed and secure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, recall. Right? Front porch view. Yeah, please. <laughs> I can't believe that lifted on there, man. These crafts, they got some, they got some strength. They've got a bit of them. Side current action, gotta love it. <coughs> okay, quick gauge check. Happy, good. Okay, there we go. I would rather 
gonna do, I mean, the, the water column here is really, really cool. There's lots of stuff. I would rather do another one. Yeah. Now I can. I mean, we have time. Now, yes. Okay, what would you like to do now, Dirk? Dirk. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Waiting on science. Science again, eh? All right. Yeah. So um, the next step, we have to finish wrapping up this um, hydrophone. Yeah. So, so do you want to use you, Trevor? Before that is uh, after that. After we deal with that, we want to lower the hook down. So when what's our ETA? You think how much time you're going to need to get the ship in position before Definitely the hook can go in the water? Definitely after ship change. What's that after ship? I think um, it's 2:40. We'll let them think that through, so their heads are in that gotcha, space. We'll work on timeline. finishing this up. Okay. And yeah, let's wrap this up. They can think that plan through. Yeah. Okay. So, how would you like to try securing this? Do you want to use the double beaner? Uh, so first, let's. Can we try and if we scooch over, can we try pinching those uh, ready rods closer together? See if that does anything. If we can kind of the bend two them in. mounted to the platform. Yeah, the two like t warm sure. bug sealers. Show thing. me dark. Uh, they're right here. You can sure. see they got the white zip ties. We want right. to line up like 45 degrees to it? Yeah, Kay. however you want to do it. I don't know. I think like right now they're kind of pointing out like not parallel. Maybe if we can pinch them around the frame a little bit more. Yeah, sure. See what I can do. If I can get the jaws around both of them and squeeze, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, see and if we can goes. then probably play around with one of those Fletchers or one of the Gladius cinch straps deals. I feel like... The double beaner is more of a last resort, but also s more reliable because it's very positive connection. It's so very positive, but also kind of rattly. Yeah, totally last resort. No way. So yeah. In here somewhere? Yeah, if you can get square up to that hydrophone, I'll be able to reach, I think. Uh, meh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe here somewhere. Come in. You could try that. You might need to s bring your heading around more. Put it, Make it That's worse for you in the current. Just. Pick the worst position possible and do that one. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be all right. Sort of kind of <laughs> there. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, that's ideal. Yeah, Think anything. Work. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Coming up. Yeah, I don't. You can continue, can continue Trevor. But, uh, What's that? Keep going. I'm just talking okay. about what else we can try. Okay, keep zooming, please. I think maybe you're right with double beaner. I think you've got right a there. good spot for it. Okay, Roger, Dirk. We'll give that a shot next. Uh, am I gonna am I gonna be able to see it? Well, oh, bubble really. cam is gonna be. Oh, well, maybe bubble cam. Still cam is definitely really good right now. Gives you the whole picture. Oh, but bubble. But bubble. There you go. Job done. Is okay, that it? Can you give it one more squeeze? Uh, one more squeeze? Yeah. How many squeezes do you want? I just want more. He just needs a couple oh. more squeezes on this. Straight beside this main shaft here. Yeah. Um, there you go. That's squeezed. Mm -hmm. um, uh, right by this droopy one. Okay. Yeah, it's still it's still pretty loose, right? I think we can all agree yes. that it's definitely going to work. <coughs> Pretty much 100% going to lose this thing if we come up now. <laughs> no way. Nah. I think it's about a 26.38% repeating chance of losing it. All right. So in that case, um, the double beaner, if we clip it, we could clip it there. Yep. And maybe feed it, if possible, feed the rope around and then clip it back there again. So at least you've got something sure. definitely solid holding it if it starts to drop. Let's do it. Here we go. Um, do you want to try and reach up there first? Yeah, that's really smart. That's <laughs> what a ahead. thinker. Do I ever? You, want you're going to be able to reach it because everything's right in the way. Watch the hydrophone head there. Bonk the hydrophone head as hard as possible. Roger that. Check. Check. Yeah, so there, I'm touching the frame there. I can grab it with the beaner as long as I grab it perfectly. I can go, I can come forward and I'll change the heading slightly maybe to give you a better, more open Let's have a look at the shot beaner, into see it. see if I'm able to grab it perfectly. See what the grab's going to be. That'll dictate if we need to move, etc. I did take a photo of it, but... So... 
I think, uh, yeah, let me have a better look here. You can get a good grab of that, I think that, you man. can get a good grab of it. I yeah. think we're good there, yeah. Uh, do I want it to be this way? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Classic case. Um, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, there you shit. go. No, I have to do it like that, unfortunately. That's fine. Is that all the wrist down I've got? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that won't come down anymore, really. Okay, great. So. Great grip. <laughs> Neat. That's all right. It's enough. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's very convenient that they come together like that. That was definitely planned ahead, but actually. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. Get him just completely free of the vehicle, and then... Uh, and you just clip one, grab the other one. Exactly, yeah. Come Without him dangling as soon as they zoom you in some. Yeah, please, go ahead. Uh, good there. That's fine. Thank you. Swing and a miss. Hmm. Nope. Well, I saw some. I think that's in. Saw some dust fall around, so I think you're there. Yeah, you're deaf. You're over the back of it. Okay, I'm letting go. Okay, come out a little bit, please, Pete. Now we will need to move in. I'm going to yep. get out of there. Just be able to grab that. And when we grab that black and yellow handle there, Dirk, the rest of the line comes free. Oh, yeah. Um, how much, do you know how much line's on there? Uh, I, 326 feet. I think about that. Yeah, maybe yeah. a little less, but close to that. Yeah, I'm just wondering <laughs> how we can get rid of some of the slop. There's no slop. Oh, you think it's going to go with it? No, but I mean, like, oh, otherwise yeah. it's going to dangle, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to just take it. Can we it just from like loop it or keep looping it around that uh, that base till we run out of slack, and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can yeah, try that. We can try or that. bring it over yonder, like bring it around the horn. Bring uh, it around the other side of that horn. Let's get it off there. See what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, let's see what, how much we're, we're dealing with. Yeah. So the um, arm is out of the way. I'll tuck it a little more out of the way, and then you should be good to. I'm just gonna go on. Uh, bubble. Okay, Roger that. It's about as close as I can get you. Okay, let me try for a reach there. Just weave through the fragile thing and that other fragile thing, that's fine. No, uh, it won't be in... Oh, I'm a liar. Oh, you're, you're grabbing that... The one at the top? Yeah, I can't grab it. Need more. Ah. It's turned. Shit. Um, I don't know how we're going to get you closer to it. I think you can turn your heading. Yeah, you should be here okay. this way. That's great. I love it. Magnum's got a bit of clearance. Got a bit of clearance in the porch. Yeah. It's this leg. I can slide under it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's plus, that's a good trap for the next shift. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Here you are. Here's a gotcha. Here's a gotcha. You're under the uh, thing. Here's another one. <laughs> yeah, hand over <laughs> as you're stuck. And here's another one. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's probably enough if you can hold it there. It was pretty close last time, so. 
You can almost do it with the still camera. I'm probably so close. going up. It is tough because you got to figure out how to hold still in the current. It's like it's not as just simple as landing. And okay, right. happy? Yeah. See how that works. A little rocky. Yep. But we're going to try our best here. Try our most. Well, at least you got plenty of reach. Oop. I would rather do, I mean, the, the water column here is really, really cool. There's lots of stuff. I would rather do another one. Okay, what would you like to do now, Dirk? Dirk. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Waiting on science. Science again, eh? All right, yeah. so um, the next step, we have to finish wrapping up this um, hydrophone. Yeah, but so do you want to use... you, Trevor, before that is, uh, after that, after we deal with that, we want to lower the hook down, so when What's our ETA? You think how much time you're going to need to get the ship in position before Definitely the hook can go in the water? Definitely after ship change. What's that? After ship change. I think I'm, it's 2:40. We'll let them think that through, so their heads are in that gotcha. space. That's we'll a work good on timeline. finishing this up. Okay. And then yeah, let's wrap this up. They can think that plan through. Yeah. Okay. So, how would you like to try securing this? Do you want to use the double beaner? Uh, so first, let's. Can we try and if we scooch over, can we try pinching those uh, ready rods closer together? See if that does anything. If we can kind of. The Bend two mounted to the platform. Yeah, the two like t worm sure. bug Just feelers. Kind show of thing. me, Dirk. Uh, they're right here. You can sure. see that they got the white zip ties. We want right. to line up like 45 degrees to it. Yeah. Kay. However, you want to do it. I don't know. I think like right now they're kind of pointing out like not parallel. Maybe if we could pinch them around the frame a little bit more. Yeah, sure. See what I can do. If I can get the jaws around both of them and squeeze, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, see and if we can goes. then probably play around with one of those Fletchers or one of the Gladius cinch straps deals. I feel like a double beaner is more of a last resort, but also s more reliable because it's very positive connection. It's so very positive, but also kind of rattly. Yeah, totally last resort. No way. So yeah. In here somewhere? Yeah, if you can get square up to that hydrophone, I'll be able to reach, I think. Uh, me. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe here somewhere. Come in. Could try that. You might need to s bring your heading around more. Put it, make it Let's worse for you in the current. Just pick the worst position possible and do that one. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be all right. Sort of, kind of <laughs> there. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> great. Yeah, that's ideal. Yeah, Think anything. Work. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Coming up. Yeah, I don't. You can, can continue, just Trevor. But, uh, What's that? Keep going. I'm just talking okay. about what else we can try. Okay, keep zooming, please. I think maybe you're right with double beaner. I think you've got right a good there. spot for it. Okay, Roger, Dirk. We'll give that a shot next. Uh, am I gonna? Am I gonna be able to see it? Well, bubble Not cam really. is gonna be. Well, maybe bubble Still cam. Still cam is definitely really good right now. Gives you the whole picture. Oh, but bubble. But bubble. There you go. Job done. Is okay, that it? Can come you wide, give please. One more squeeze. Uh, one more squeeze. Yeah. How many squeezes do you want? I just want more. He just needs a couple oh. more squeezes on this straight beside this main shaft here. Yeah. Um. There you go. That's squeezed. <laughs> um. Uh, right by this droopy one. Okay. Yeah, it's still it's still pretty loose, right? I think we can all agree yes. that it's definitely gonna work. <coughs> Pretty much 100% going to lose this thing if we come up now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> nah. I think it's about a 26.38% repeating chance of losing it. All right. So in that case, um, the double beaner, if we clip it, we could clip it there. Yep. And maybe feed it, if possible, feed the rope around and then clip it back there again. So at least you've got something sure. definitely solid holding it if it starts to drop. 
Let's do it. Here we go. Um, do you want to try and reach up there first? Yeah, that's really smart. That's mm -hmm. What a ahead. thinker. Do I ever you, want to You're going to be able to reach it because everything's right in the way. Watch the hydrophone head there. Bonk the hydrophone head as hard as possible. Roger that. Check. Check. Yeah, so there, I'm touching the frame there. I can grab it with the beaner as long as I grab it perfectly. I can, all, I can come forward and I'll change the heading slightly maybe to give you a better, more open Let's have a look at the shot beaner into to it. see if I'm able to grab it perfectly. See what the grab's going to be. That'll dictate if we need to move, etc. I did take a photo of it, but... So, I think, uh, yeah, let me have a better look here. You can get a good grab I of that, I think you can get a good grab of it. I yeah. think we're good there, yeah. Uh, do I want it to be this way? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Classic case. Um, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. Oh, for God's oh there you sake. go. No, I have to do it like that, unfortunately. That's fine. Is that all the wrist down I've got? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that won't come down anymore, really. Okay, great. So, great grip. <laughs> Neat. That's all right. It's enough. Yeah. Oh, well, that's very convenient that they come together like that. That was definitely planned ahead, but actually. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Get them just completely free of the vehicle, and then... Uh, and you just clip one, grab the other one. Exactly. Yeah. Come Without her dangling as soon as they zoom you in some. Yeah, please go ahead, Pete. Ah, uh, good there. That's fine. Thank you. Swing and a miss. Hmm. Nope. I saw some. I think that's in. Saw some dust fall around, so I think you're there. Yeah, you're deaf. You're over uh, the back of it. Okay, I'm letting go. Okay, come out a little bit, please, Pete. Now we will need to move in. I'm gonna yep. get out of there. Just be able to grab that. And when we grab that black and yellow handle there, Dirk, the rest of the line comes free. Cool. Yeah. Um, how much? Do you know how much line's on there? I. Uh, 326 feet. I think about that, yeah. Maybe a little less, but close to that. Yeah, I'm just wondering how we can get rid of some of the slop. There's no slop. Oh, you think it's going to go with it? No, but I mean, like, oh, otherwise yeah. it's going to dangle, right? Yeah, we're going to have to just take it Can we it just, like, loop it or keep looping it around that uh, that base till we run out of slack and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can yeah, try that. We can try or that. bring it over yonder, like, bring it around the horn. Bring uh, it around the other side of that horn. Let's get it off there. See what yeah, it looks let's like. see what, how much we're, we're dealing with. Yeah. So the arm is out of the way. I'll tuck it a little more out of the way. And then you should be good to... I'm just going to go on uh, bubble. Okay, roger that. It's about as close as I can get you. Okay, let me try for a reach there. Not enough there. Come on. Come on, you. There we go. Okay, breaking that free. Yep. Okay. And we are out of there. All right. Uh, if you can just stay there for now, eh? Staying there. Let me come down. So I need to be able to... So Dirk, all that line will come free. It's just two rubber bands around it. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, you're good, Nick. Go wherever you like. Can you please rack the camera in so I get a little more wide field of view? I think we may as well just sit here for now. Yeah, agreed. All right, Dirk, there's your uh, 387 who gave you feet. Who gave you the, the 300 meters? I did say 321 feet. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty yeah. close. <laughs> it's closer to that than what it should be. Yeah, uh, so it's... Uh, do a yeah, million loops around? Or like? year. So do you want uh, to just lasso the whole thing? I would say, yeah, like if you do this and then... Do is this. it possible, like what you've got do, right now? Do what? What, you, what you've got. Okay. So keep this and then okay. move around the front. And I know, I don't think you can do that, but then hook it onto anything high on the far side just till it's tight. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine with that. Right? Yeah. You just need anything high up okay. so that this is the lowest point in that bend. Roger. See what we get? Let's go for it. Now it's back to all you again. <laughs> and just we want to keep that loose rope as high as possible. Yes. As long as it's underneath that the doinker. Yeah. yeah. Doinker. <laughs> doinkers. <laughs> Gotta love doinkers. Alright. Oh yeah. Come here. Come out of there first. There we go. Now we're gonna do several laps of the platform. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. We'll just tie it to the uh, go around the IP once and then back here. <laughs> if we could get it over the bullhorns, if possible, that'll give us a nice angle up. Okay. Yeah, understood. Holy moly! Over the bullhorns, or uh, at least uh, this one. Yeah, just this one is the one that matters. Yep. Get Coming up. over the. Coming up. Yeah. There oh, we go. good. Good work. Okay. We're going to lose Viz, though. Yep. Fairly quickly. I'm going to pull that away when you come back down. But we still got 400 yards to go. Yeah, yeah you're going to do Going underneath that bullhorn. So now we can we can go, once we're tight, we can go to anything. We are not close to tight I know, we're, tight we're not close to tight yet. What? No, but How what long I want, is stop, this? What I want to do... There we go, that looks tight now. Oh, no, 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 not, no, not no, yet. Not Just yet. kidding. Uh, <laughs> this is like a clown sleeve. Right. <laughs> like, well, who thought that a five meter of, or like amp seal was a good idea? <laughs> now we're tight. Now we're tight, yeah. There we go. I'm going to come back and loop it over the top of that bullhorn. Over the top of this right bullhorn. This one on our side, yeah. Yeah, understood. And then figure eight it. Yeah, whatever. You with yeah, me? That, I get it. Do you want me to pass it through the stanchion first? Yeah, yeah. whatever you like. Or let's, just let's slam by the bead bag. <laughs> I'm, the, I, I'm with you, Dave, except for there's, there's those angled gussets, you know? <laughs> don't like I, I'm not no <laughs> good save I, I did on the last one it's the same one see I'm a so, bit concerned uh, about where that's streaming yeah. oh I hear you yeah no totally what uh, a disaster I, can we just keep uh, going around roughly is that possible just, just, just hang just on keep, keep going around, around the platform and just keep circling till it's and then clip circling. it to whatever when it's tight mummify it <laughs> roger the bullhorn idea is, if you could do it, that's great as well. Yeah, just the way the current's streaming, that's a bit of a concern Yeah. for yeah. sitting down there. So, so let's just keep doing laps of this thing. hilarious. That's crazy. <laughs> this is so much I, fun. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely expected this thing to be used in the, uh, it's going to hang and then something else hang below it. Is yeah, this? I was expecting a three foot. Uh, you know what? This has just made the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this yeah. is this. I guess it could have been twice as long. <laughs> and it would have been... <laughs> make sure funny. you keep the turns out of it, Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we're just, just wrapping up we're our going, Yeah, we'll have to do something because we're going to... We've got... Uh, ideally, we're not over the bubbles here. because the bubbles... W or the bottles because that the, would just under collapse. The so, like, down here maybe. Yeah, understood. Understood. Those are pretty, pretty fragile. They'll just collapse. Collapsible bottles. Well, break off, I guess. This is this is something else. Wow. This is yeah. Check the box. Well, there's two beaners with a rope in between. Check. <laughs> yeah, nobody said anything about it being intercontinental loaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gravy. Let's this just hook it to the IP. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Getting you're good. Out of there. You're good. Okay. Nice flying. This is oh, hard. now we're getting this thing too. That's yeah, good. double whammy, belt and suspenders. <laughs> uh, 
All right. I need to see it, Mitt. Yeah, Can you come in towards me? Coming in. Yep. Coming in as you All come right, around. All right. Uh, it's cinching this thing up nice. Yeah, yeah. just cinch it down. That's part of the plan. Hook it back up top, maybe. Uh, we got to keep going. Is there yeah, we got to keep going wherever it's tight. We're thinking way too convenient here. Yep. This reminds me of that scene in Superman. Where do you want to be now? Flying around Keep going, earth. yeah. Keep going to, to start <laughs> yeah. your starboard. Could this beaner hook right, That's us over to full turn in now. Yeah, I know. Okay. We should be good. We have plenty of delta. Think you can hook it onto this parking frame here or something? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, man, we get double wrap on the hydrogen. I'm going to bring the arm over to the left now as you come yeah, around. Yeah, gotcha. Give you some slack. Let me sit somewhere sit. here. Yeah, I love that idea. Preferably the further side if you can. The top works too, whatever. We're going to get the lots of slack in the line. We're going to land the vehicle and then get it as tight as we can on whatever Yeah, we okay, can. perfect. All right. Happy there? Well, yeah, we're done. <laughs> Is he, is he happy? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez Louise. He's okay. done you on the top of the A-frame, Maybe he can Dirk? tell us what, what he What's was. that? You on the top He's of the part? I think, yeah, if you can't reach the far end. The, can you reach the far end of the A-frame? Like the flat, like that piece? See that white crossbar oh, yeah. up there? Can you get there? Mm, no, I cannot no, get to can't. the gusset thing. No. Nope. Okay, this is fine. I can maybe get... Uh, rating on top. You're right gonna oh, can you get this thing, the leg? Uh, Try yes. that. It's quite a big. Yes, yes, I can, but I gotta tug it. Yeah, that's, Go. that's fine. Oh, come on! You're turning me. Yeah, you're spinning me out. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> Just about, but not quite. It's nice, but. Uh, okay. How about? Hang uh, on, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna on, give on. you some slack there, Dave. All right, pull. Okay, pulling. No. Nope. It's not I, going I need there. to let it go before I clip anyway. I'm going to place it on this. If you, once you landed, Dave, I'm going to place That's it on this receptacle just so I can grab it again. <laughs> sort of about yeah. as landed as I'm going to get. Maybe. Roger. Okay, I'm place it on the receptacle just for temporary. Shit, nope. giggles, yeah. Okay. Now I'm all stuck in something else here. All right, this is what a mess. That's I think no this mess. is uh, probably pr way more secure than had it only been like a two-footer or a three-footer with all these wraps. Come on, get on there. <laughs> I'm just going here, Dirk. Yeah, that works if you can get well, you it. left a nice oh. mess for the, after, for the next shift. Yeah, no kidding. I think you've got it, have you? <laughs> nope. Oh, good oh. gravy. Oi, oi. Hey. There's hooked something. Maybe it's hooked. I can't tell. It's, it's half hooked. hooked. It's, it's half hooked, hooked. But the gate's not closed. Oh, yeah. What a mess, eh? That's all right. Who needs a gate anyway? Uh, what do you if want? If you can get the gate, if you can give it one try. I'll give it a try. Yeah, just in case. I mean, no gate is kind of, that's really... Not ideal. It you know what yeah, else is not ideal? Roll over. There you go. You have got it. That's, That's it. it. That's Kay. it. Oh, what a Let's lasso. get the heck out of here, and then we'll do a shift change. That's a lasso. Oh job. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's just laughs> that is actually, wow. I think, very secure. To that platform. Yeah, there, there aren't many other things on the just bottom of the ocean that secure. So uh, you got to turn in your tether. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bungee. All of them are five meters from now on. Bundled up. Just gonna go grab my. That's all right. I'm just taking that turn out.
Yeah. Hi. Thank you. They're prepping the wire. What's the question? Where's the wire? Where's the wire? Uh, no wire yet. We're waiting for shift change so you guys can check out where you want the RV, where you want the ship, and all that stuff. So the wire. <coughs> okay. There is. There are other little things we can do. Uh, <laughs> this. Uh, hang. Do you want it to be to the west or to the east? I don't know. I'm just joking. I just sat down. Danny, I thought <laughs> you were going to fix this chair. It's like getting worse. Where are it's about to fall off here. Which way is the wind blowing? That's what we got to think about. To the west. Why What's up with the USB LPEG? Yeah. Oh. We recovered one, right? Yeah, it was close. Oh, yeah. Here. We changed heading. But I can't reset yet. Oh, yeah. By the okay. node. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Just trying to get an idea of where everything is. So the fish are a current indicator? Yeah, they like to face into it. This is a pretty good setup right here. Crazy amount of fish. So the uh, current's going to blow it into us, so... We're gonna leave the beat back. Yeah, here. if we back up a little bit, then we can have it down current from this. <coughs> or we can say we are, and it'll settle out in front. Yeah, I think we can. Until we stick it in the water, we're not gonna really know, but. Um, we can always move it once we put it in. <laughs> yeah, and the current here, what's the current on the surface look like? Um, surface is one knot, 244. From or two? Two, two, two. River flows, wind blows. In any case, they can uh, start getting ready to Kay. stick it in. Want me to call them? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think about the. We are ready for two wire ops. Roger. I'm going to go uh, clean this off a bit here. Go ahead, Bridge. Nope, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, just keep our heading. Perfect. You have a... Is he happy heading there? Is he going to want to... Yeah, he's pretty happy. All the forces are up there. Same direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to come up uh, 10 meters, Jake? Coming up.
Alright. So I got this mud off us, so I'm gonna deal with it while we're trying to hook up. What kind of fish are these? Sable fish. Sable. Sable fish. Sable fish. The same you saw in the last two dives in abundance. <laughs> So many fish. They're all about the same size. Is this like this, the maximum size they get? Or do they get bigger? That's probably the average adult size. The average adult size, yeah. What they call that black cod? Yeah, they're also called black cod. Oh. That makes more uh Chomp for that hydrophone. Hmm? What else is out here? Are we? Um, where, where where are we now? But it looks that looks like a CTD monument. It does. Dan was driving out to the but end, of, the, end of his tether. We're off to the uh, northeast. Where? Off to the northeast. Okay, CTD monument. Yeah. Any dragon Atalanta back a little bit. <coughs> yeah, I'm just trying to clean the vehicle off so it doesn't ah. dust us up when we make trying to I play see, around I with see, the wires. Yeah, all right. What's that? I don't know where my lid is to my mug. So, the lid to the mug? Yeah. But anyways, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I've got this, yeah. Okay, don't worry about it. It's gone. Dirk Systems is asking if we are going to disconnect the other side of the fish acoustics cable as well, the JB side. No. No. Just gonna okay. leave that. Thanks. Um. Hmm. Yeah, for a part of that dive, we lost thrust. We couldn't uh, thrust down at all. The RV was floating up. Really? Because a fish took out one of the thrusters. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> until it kind of worked its way loose, and then huh. we were able to dive again. <laughs> wow. Well. That happened on the last dive too, but it was the aft thruster, the for forward and reverse thrust. But it came out pretty quickly. So Dan, if you're doing um, clean of the vehicle now, does that mean we don't want to land and do some push cores while this wire comes down or either? Yeah, no. it's only uh, 600 meters. Yeah, it'll come down pretty quick. All right, so while we hang out, I'm gonna, I'll be back. I'm just gonna grab a coffee. Raj. Uh, while we're just hanging out, we had a question come in for the ROV pilots. Um, do you have completely custom controls or are you using off-the-shelf equipment? Off-the-shelf equipment that's completely customized. <laughs> it's a <little> yes. <laughs> Very custom. The off-the-shelf stuff is like the joysticks and the buttons, but it's all and the monitors and cables and computers, but they're all highly modified for science. Yeah. 
except for our camera controller. That's pretty off the shelf. Yeah, but it's modified, right? Not this one. meters 50 meters yeah <laughs> come up another 10 if you coming want. up another 10 actually I'm gonna have to come back and figure out where right. the heck I am so I'll stop All right, we'll go look at that thing now That's about as clean as it gets. Can deal with a little dust. Mm. Comes off of those weights forever. Hit your nav screen too. Can you find PC two on there and push it? You don't have to repan the nav screen, Megan. I inadvertently did something there. I'm not sure what I did. Navs? Yeah. Uh, re just repan the oh. nav screen. I thought you were telling me to <laughs> play with the video. That's why we have TP up well, there. You can uh, put uh, Sonardyne on PC2 if somebody can. That would be great. Nope. 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 Control all X. <laughs> Dan knows how to do it. <laughs> Are you doing it, Danny, or do you need me to do it? You guys need help? Hit the yellow button up here, Danny. He's got it. Probably. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Then uh, page two. Uh, PC two. I'll go to page, I think, six or so and find Sonar there. Uh, down one. Sonar. View. Oops, oh, baby. Then uh, X the yellow or or that one. Downlights are off. Can you, uh, thank you. Should have warned you. Range 
as it got up. What did it mess around with it? Oh, it's just slowing it down a little so I can. Atalanta's range to 50. So you know, we'll be closer than that. Turn its uh, gain up, 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 up. Wire finding mode. Look, it's also a fish finder. <laughs> uh, challenge. by this view. <coughs> uh, there's a follow-up question for the controller custom controls or off the shelf. Uh, what is the brand or retailer for the control components? DigiKey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who made the tray box. Uh, it looks pretty uh, custom. You want Everything to come down in, uh, ten meters? Come down ten meters. But the arm is actually come supplied with the arm, and that's Craft Tower Robotics. If they look up Craft Trip Predator on uh, their favorite search engine, they will find what we use to control the arm. Thank no, you, Danny. you won't because it's vintage. <laughs> You'll find the current model though. It looks the same. Pretty much, yeah. Hasn't changed a lot over the years. Someone are working there? I'm not seeing a target though. I wonder what the fish are talking about right now. <laughs> You can find out on the Ocean Networks Canada data portal. I mean, I don't know if you, you'd at least be able to hear what noises they're making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think you'd hear more just what Hercules was making. <laughs> yeah. At yeah. At this point. At this, at this much moment, louder. Yeah. Apparently they like it. I don't know if I've ever seen this many fish. Business is going on here. Hook <laughs> <laughs> okay, it right there. Yeah, along with all the other rusty stuff there. Just land on the spikes. It's a landing platform. <laughs> it's perfect. Can zoom in there, Pete, and see what, what's going on there with that monkey business. Maybe you want to pick that up and flop it out of there, Jake. All right. Looks like uh, there's a shackle and a D-ring. Yep. You can see it in the down cam. Uh, I'm going to turn on the down lights. Cut. Bubble shows you exactly what it is. If you can grab a hold of the uh, D ring and flop it towards the port, sure. Get the shackle in.
Can you reach the D-ring? The D-ring? Yeah. Okay. Well, pick the D-ring up and put it uh, towards us. If you can get in there, you might not be able to. on our side. Oh. Jaws to the right a little, we'll go down in there. <coughs> Just don't get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Other way, I think, Jake, you can get the long bit of it. Other way? Yeah, no, Here? Yeah, you can get the long shank. I think they'll reach down in there on that angle. Operation. left a little. Oh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> if you rotate your jaw, Jake, you might. Or not. <laughs> oh. Ooh. There you go. Now you can just hook it and pull it out. Grab it again. Now rotate your jaw the other way, maybe. Right. This way? Yeah. Bring the so the pin of the shackle is inside the hook clear. Yeah, that's what nice. I want. Now you can flop the whole mess over towards us. That's about as far as it's going to go, I think. Yeah, try and move it a little more. Maybe so it's hanging out there. Yeah. That'll do. Give us more room to get the hook in. <coughs> or the option to grab that mess. Ah, it's nice when the Arm halts. Yeah. Oh, you got the thing out of there. The pairing. Was it sitting inside, trapped inside before? It was, yeah. Jake had to play Operation. And yeah. <laughs> Fun got stuff. buzzed once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time you touch a cable, uh -huh. <laughs> yep. That thing used to shock you when it would go <laughs> short. Because uh, it's plus minus 10 volts there, right? Ah. So it would like. And I had all these little hip. spots on my arm, and I'm like, well, where are these coming from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just kept getting pinched by it. Sometimes our controllers are so custom, they shock the operator. <laughs> what a shocking experience. What was a shocking experience? This is my secret pineapple. And uh, zoom out there, Pete, if you want. And it's this thing. It's uh, it's got a hydrophone on, it, obviously, and okay. it's got a looks like a birthday cake candles there. Yeah, right. it's essentially a birthday. It's a sediment wrap carousel for bottle collection that's been turned upside down, and oh. then 
what we do is we put like a sardine in each one with a little piece of quarter inch ready rod. So once, I think a week or once a couple times a month, whatever it might be, some it drops more bait. And then you take acoustic video and regular video of the sable fish eating and then they talk to each other through clicks or whatever. And uh, Fabio and his uh, colleagues are looking at the communication of sable fish when feeding. So you can hear them. You can hear them, yeah. Is there any concern about the bait going bad? Uh, it's it's in oil, so oh, it's okay. kind of preserved in an oil. Uh, minor concern. So it's concern. like canned fish? It's like canned fish, yeah. Okay. It's got like some kind of something in there. I forget what exactly it is. It's funny how they all, they do kind of a ring around the ROV. <laughs> <laughs> if they all, how they work that out. They tend to feed as they go by. They just the want to be at the edge of the light pool. So one of the one interesting thing was that uh, the elephant seals come down here and they've they've caught them on camera. But for the first month, the Ditson, the acoustic camera, was still working, and they were around all the like all the time. So since then, the camera's only on for five minutes every hour, so they're harder to capture mm -hmm. on the regular camera. The Ditson was on the whole time. So I don't know how the elephant seals find this spot, but they were around that bait release quite often. Well, <laughs> they knew. So maybe the Ditson was attracting them. The Ditson is uh, 600 meters down too. Uh, acoustic. Yeah. Camera. That's acoustic camera. Yeah. How does that work? So does it like hear something and turn on or something? No, it's just running. It's similar to the Aris. Um, it's. It's kind of like a sonar, right? So, oh, okay. But it's it gives you like a picture of what's going on. It's a oh. pretty high That's definition sonar, deck. I guess. That's pretty neat. Kind of like a fisheries echo sounder, kind of, or uh, I don't know. No, I'm not sure. But the the Aris, I've never used the Ditson myself, but it's similar to the Aris in that it gives you almost a, like a super grainy but picture of what's going on, like kind Roger. of like a top view picture. It's oh, okay. You can definitely see fish, like you'll be able to distinguish the exact square of the grating. You'll see the bottles perfectly clear. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's just the Aris is very narrow angle. Okay. So I don't know about the Ditson. It's like when uh, like a something, something like, uh, what's that? That sonar we use quite often. What, what's like a very popular scanning sonar for ROVs? Like, the blue they sometimes blue. call them multi-beam sonars. But and, uh, wow, well, uh, the popular ones scared? for... Yeah, they for, no, they, are on, on, they look kind of like yours. It's like, oh, we the used them on the last Gemini, yeah, yeah. Gemini? So, yeah, the Gemini Tritech, that's the, that's the stuff, that's the business. So that's like a thirty forty thousand dollars $40,000 instrument. The Ares Wait. is like 150 or something. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's like really high definition. Nav radio checks. But very narrow. It kind of st sucks for navigating because it's yeah. relatively slow frame rate. Yeah, okay. So it's got some lag and the angle is pretty narrow. Designed for that picture. picture. But yeah, you but can see a connector panel perfect, oh. even if you have zero viz. Wow. They've actually, uh, <laughs> they've got a miniaturized version of that. They're putting them on the small ROVs, like a blue ROV or the... Uh, really? What? Of the Gemini? What? What's the other one? Yeah. Uh, they're, even, they're even doing diver mounting yeah. now. Who is it? Deep Trucker who's making the, what yeah. is the name of that little ROV? It's like a, similar to a Blue View, but maybe a little more commercialized. But, uh, sorry, Blue Robotics. But. That Blue Robotics ROV, we've got one for little odd jobs and just a fisheye, but man, they're, they're easy to control and, and you can buy like a little tracking system for them as well yeah. that's super small and compact i've never actually used them i've only used their thrusters <laughs> what's that i've only used their thrusters oh i've never actually used like the, RO, the whole rov package yeah people do yeah, use their um housings because yeah. they're relatively cheap too. yeah so you just buy their clear housings for whatever you want to put yeah in. all their parts are relatively cheap and like you can buy like a, a housing for like 300 bucks or something yeah with an end cap on it I forget the exact well, price, but connect, uh, the penetrators are pretty good too. The shallow stuff. Yeah, there's a little micro DVL and a, a little mini blue view and little. 
USB all stuff, all kinds of little miniaturized stuff you can put on there. But have you have you ever you worked with the USB L system on that before, Dan? No, no, it's kind of a it looked a bit sciencey project, but yeah. Have you? No, no, no. I, I'm just interested because, like I said, ours have got we've got the deep the deep package, so it goes down to 240 meters or something. Yeah. And uh, we're thinking of putting a USB L on there as well because. Man, if you lose your cable at any depth, <laughs> you're gone. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> I just like put a, uh, I would put a beacon on a clump weight for the, you know, similar to how we're doing here with the yep. crane, and then, and then I was wanting to make one of the, make a TMS for one. Another little vehicle so Would it be a TMS or would it be more of a garage? TMS for sure. Would it do the garage style? No, you never get the little thing back in there, especially when its battery was... Yeah, you just reel it back in. Well, same with a TMS. You just yeah. start lifting up it's on like your a, main winch and then... Make it like a vacuum cord. You just pull it a little bit and then... Exactly. Yeah. That's what TMS is. Yeah. With a TMS, you can always... If the vehicle's not working, you just start lifting the TMS and tether in. And the whole mess is coming up. And it'll keep the tether tight because you're coming up through the water. And just suck it back in. Unless the TMS could work. Hey, there, you just yeah. whole Did you take some digital steals from, from this view? Uh, not from this view. I can, if you want. We have our colleague Rodney Rantree. He's one of our the PIs on this experiment. Along with Francis Juan is at your back. He's uh, giving a shout. And mm. he said Whenever we, we have nothing to... <laughs> N um, NASA doesn't have nothing on us. <laughs> are we going to get the nav it's beacon cool. on Can we put he's, it in there? It's one of the acousticians that's expert on fish sounds. What's that? Oh, well, okay. I, can't, I can't hear you. Oh, I, you I can't get it. it in there. That beacon won't go into there. That beacon won't go in there. Yeah. So uh, uh, It's here. That's going to be an issue. I can see it. Well, I can't see it. Yeah, oh, then you just have to talk to me. Just to them about the fish acoustics and hearing them, like talk hearing to the you. fish <laughs> yeah. well, see the it. release and why we have that. But uh, oh, I, I can't get it, it in bit, there. So I might want to apologize to <laughs> no. Rodney for that one. That one doesn't want to go in there. That one doesn't want to go in there. Yeah, 206 goes in there right away, but 207 won't. You're going to force me to use high pack under <laughs> duress. I don't trust high pack. Uh, you can put, um, you know what you can do is put the sonar dyne up here. Okay. I got to trust that because that's, you know, the source. Maybe you can zoom in. On it a bit. Yeah. That'll work. is putting what's known as a rubber band between the Herc and the Beacon. What's that mean? And we always know the distance oh, and the slant range and the... Hello? Uh, it's, like it's like a reference circle? Constant readout of... Oh, uh, uh, I see. So it's an actively changing diameter, basically. It's an actively changing... Uh, Radius? Slant range, horizontal range, and... So now we know how far away Kay. Kirk is from the uh, wire coming down. Okay, cool. Cool. Can't read Range it, and bearing. Is that sonar down so far? Yeah. Good. Yeah, what I'm more interested in is what it does on the way down, so which way it's swinging. Yeah.
Can we turn the so lasers we'll on for just while we're sitting here? Well, just uh, perspective stop for these the fish. winch at 500 meters. Turn them off. Oh, they were on. Yeah, they're off. Oh, they are. Oh. <laughs> I guess I know they can't really see anything. Halfway there, the wire. Yeah, you can. Uh, Do we want to get the magnum out? Ready, ready to go. Sure. Yep. You can have the winch uh, stop at 500 meters on there. Pay out. Okay. Winch now. Go ahead. Can you stop at 500 meters and call us? Copy. Actually, the one I want, Megan, the rubber band that will help me is the, from here what? to here. Oh, can you have two? Two for? Uh, come here. Bullseye to bullseye. There you go. There you go. Hey, that one you can read. Yeah, that one you can read because they're farther apart. 273. West. You want a fish screensaver? Who wouldn't? Put <laughs> it on my TV. Yeah, just like, look at all that. Look at all those fish. If my TV likes to go to sleep and play a screensaver because it's uh, OLED. Mm -hmm. I can upload that into it and it could just be a fish tank. <laughs> Footage, but it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, well. It didn't blow up well. So the, the package is all ready to lift off, is it, Dirk? Uh, yeah, it's all packaged up. This thing got big feet on us? They're going to be uh, no, the stuck feet, in the mud? or feet broke off during deployment, so it's just poles, like just the um, pipes. That's why it's kind of sitting so deep down. Oh, um, so it is stuck in the mud. Yeah, but it's just the four two-inch or whatever, one and a half inch, whatever the the pipes are at the very bottom. Yeah. So it's not a particularly not a big it's not a big suction. Right. We I did tell them though whenever we were picking stuff up to take it a little easier. <laughs> Go ahead, winch. Can we stop here at uh, 475? We just want to adjust the winch. Roger, go ahead. Okay, Pete, you go wide for me. Copy. Pull wide. Put a little, pull, put a little push. Now. Go ahead. Can you stop at 500 meters and call us? Copy. I will stop at 500 meters. Actually, the one I want, Megan, the rubber band that will help me is the, from here what? to here. Oh, can you have two? Two for? Uh, come here. Bullseye to bullseye. There you go. There you go. 
West. You want a fish screensaver? Who wouldn't? <laughs> on my TV. Yeah, just like, look at all that. Look at all those fish. My TV likes to go to sleep and play a screensaver because it's uh, OLED. Mm -hmm. I can upload that into it and it could just be a fish tank. <laughs> Footage, but it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, well. It didn't blow up well. So the, the package is all ready to lift off, is it, Dirk? Uh, yeah, it's all packaged up. This thing got big feet on us? Is it going to be uh, no, the stuck feet, in the mud? Or feet broke off during deployment, so it's just poles, like just the um, pipes. That's why it's kind of sitting so deep down. Oh, so it is stuck in the mud. Yeah, but it's just the four two-inch or whatever, one and a half inch, whatever the the pipes are at the very bottom. Yeah. So it's not a particularly... Not a big... It's not a big suction. Right. We I did tell them, though, whenever we were picking stuff up to take it a little easier. <laughs> Go ahead, Winch. Okay, Pete, you go wide for me. Copy. Pull line. Put a little, pull, put a little push. If you're gonna study sablefish, this seems like the like the place for it. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like a great place. We also have a program with uh, students at UVic that uh, imagery they use imagery from our cameras uh, to measure the w the length of the fish. Yep. And Go so ahead, we, we measure some growth estimation, growth population dynamics based on that on those Roger. Uh, oh, okay. that we, we collect. So is that more? Yeah, Affirmative. Roger. Let's go down to 500. It was essentially some growth models that's used in the population, calculations of the population uh, size, for example. So does the size tell yeah, you size, yeah. like more migrations or does it tell you like well how, m how much of that are reached few maturity reproductive maturity for example okay. uh, 
What is considered a re like a mature adult size for a sablefish? Do you know? I, I won't. I won't know from the top of my head. There's a. But these are adults. Would yeah, you say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look up, Jake, with that Atlantis camera in a little bit. You want to do that? Looking up. Fabio, do you want the lasers back on? Uh, yeah. So we're going to do a survey. Change your yeah. head to the left a little. Okay. Push cores. Go ahead, Once we're Mitch. done with this, we'll put the lasers on again. Roger. Ooh. Uh, actually, you're, you got a good heading there. Uh, you can bring, her down a, bring him down another 100. Come down another 100 meters, please. Roger, out 100 meters. Is uh, 40 meters per minute the appropriate speed? How about 20 meters a minute? Let's do 20 meters a minute. Roger, out 100 meters and 20 meters per minute. We don't want it to uh, kite in the last bit. Kind of find its home if he comes slower. It's easier for me to fly in at that angle. Fly in. Which one's the beacon? I can't see it from here. Uh, this one's the beacon. Okay. So it's pretty much to the west of uh, Atlanta, 280. Okay. The beacon depth versus his depth is not driving, but. The, the beacon is 15 meters above the 20, end of... 22 meters above. Uh, oh, well, I was told 15. 15 plus 7. Plus 7? Yeah. Uh, 15 above the... Com and we have the little 7 meter stinger. Pink hook? Pink hook, yeah. Oh. fishing pole to put in uh, Hook's left hand. <laughs>
Oh, there it is. Perfect. <clears throat> Fif Fifteen meters away from Atlanta. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen point four nine, according to Sonar Dine. Oh, Sonar Dine. <laughs> Plus or minus one percent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, I'll stop on the winch there. <clears throat> winch, I'll stop. I'll stop. You're going to want to get back underneath Atlanta, right? Um. I should see it now, because it's gone past the... It looks like it's going to... Well, maybe not. down a little with your Atlanta camera. Someday I'm going to remember to put reflective tape on this mess. I think I look down a little more, you can see her down there. And we did a slight push on at Atlanta earlier today, so. That's all right. Yeah. There's her. Okay. We even saw the reflective tape yesterday, Danny, and we didn't bother to get any out. I thought you were going to. <laughs> well, I was, and I got sidetracked by flowers. Squishy flowers. Squishy flowers. All right. I'm going to come back down and back up a bit. I see it now. I think I see it. Uh, no, that's my tether. Uh, thank you. It's just above me here.
That line just doing its tail wagging thing again, eh? Yep. Theory, that's it on the sonar. I would say so. Or it's a fish. Big fish. Big metal fish. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Where yep. should we? Uh, come down 10 meters. Coming down 10 meters. Not you. Nope. Sorry. Well, okay. I well, should we'll be more. Have windows. <laughs> 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 Maybe a little more clear in my. Uh, on the deck. Come okay. down. Which now? Megan, come down 10. Come down 10 meters. Nice. And, uh, 10 meter, 10 at 10. 10 at 10. At 10 meters a minute. 10 meters a minute, please. Caught a lot. Oh, a fish should be moving that thing all over the place. Yeah. Put anti bait on it. <laughs> Keep them away. Roger. Uh, another 10 at 10. Let's go another 10 meters at 10 meters a minute. I like how they're following us. Yeah. I know where the snacks are. <laughs> the smell of rail bones. <laughs> I bet the ROV still stinks. Oh yeah, how was that whale bone sample, Fabio? I missed that because <laughs> I was sleeping. Smelly. But I got I saw the pictures and I went check there well s stored away in the freezers but yeah they've got some really nice nice animals of the wood and the Roger. whale bones two meters two meters at ten pay out two more meters Another two. Roger. Two more meters. Roger. Hang up. Two more meters. I'll stop. Video change. Watch. Lining up here. Roger. Uh, good for another two meters, my good. Pay out two more meters. for this uh, change. Crayfish. 
Yeah, we'll wait for a ship change here. Yeah. Doesn't look like we'll need a ship move. No. That's a first for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was nice to be uh, out with front our of nose it. into the current. So uh, the tethers, that's what I worry about. Is yeah. the, tether, the tether is blowing out behind us, so it's a good thing. Yeah. Out in front, we'll be able to put a nice bow in it. Should pull work it back. Out. Should work out if we can manage to make the hook. Love to tell about it. <laughs> Good afternoon, Lynette. Are you ready to play hey. play with pink hooks? I can't hear you yet. I'm ready. Pink you ready? Hooks. Pink hooks. Is everybody else ready? Settled in over there, Jacob? Ready. Ready? Sweet. Let's do it. Um, so, give you guys an update of where we are. We are somewhere. Five meters off bottom. Yeah, that's a good start. We're five meters off bottom. The hook's five meters away. We're directly over the package, as you can see with the down-looking cameras. Cool. And... Uh, Looking west. Looking west, yeah. Whole mess looking is looking west. west. Atlantis, uh, 35 meters above us, looking down. So yep. 40 meters, something, something like that. And uh, <coughs> if I look down here, just the edge of the package. Just right there. the edge of the package, right there. So uh, I think I'm good for another two meters on that hook. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Two meters at ten meters a minute. Winch now. Can you pay or out another two meters on the winch, please? Or two meters, nice and slow. <coughs> I don't. I don't know if that winch has it nice and slow. <laughs> There are so many fish. Roger. That's another first. We can see the hook and the package all in one camera. Uh, yeah, and a couple fish. Very beautiful weather. Okay, I'm going to go get some. Jake? Yeah. Put put our uh, slack out in front of us. Slack in it first and Roger. Can play around with it. I'm ready for right. good for another two meters, Lynette. Get a Winch little closer. Nav. Yeah. Please pay out another two meters. <coughs> mm, 
good for another two meters. Roger, can we have another two meters, please? Too low to get a hold of, Jake? Or? No, I think I can get that there. Roger. Maybe not. Yeah. I could bring the uh, elbow up. That hook is heavy. It's sinking me. to be late. Oh, sorry. If you want, you can, yeah, do what you're going to do. Oh, why is it sideways here? I'm going to come up a bit more. It's, uh, I'm having that trust up, stirring up the biz. Roger. You can uh, swing it right quite a bit if you want. I got it out in front of us here. If you swing just the wrist right, you'll be... Uh, wrist right? Yeah, but move your arm out of the way. Right. right. If you uh, rotate your wrist left now, I can do it. I mean, I'll do it. Do right. do 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 do. Where my wrist? I'll put it where it's a sweet grab. Perfect. Perfect. I'll have to do. out of our face here a bit. Oops, why is it doing that? Oh, I see why you got the wrist all the way out. Give me a minute here to play with this magnum. 